Beyond the normal routine of classes, homework, and leisure time, there is a new mandatory program that affects students that reside on campus. They call it the TRUE program, and over the next few minutes, we will investigate what it is, what it stands for, and what people think about it. If you live on campus, then there is TRUE or there is consequences. TRUE is a mandatory program for first and second year residential students at Bloomfield College. If you decide to dorm on campus, they make you go to four sessions per semester, but if you commute, you don't have to go. If you judge by their pamphlets, it looks like people jump for joy at the thought of attending the meetings. We interviewed people to see if this was true. I think it's a great idea. So as far as everything I've heard, I don't think it's working though. Some were social, some were educational, and they're pretty good, they're really interesting. For the most part, yes. There's Most of them are very interesting. It's just a matter of uh, getting that word out there and have people go, because most of the time they're very interesting and there's food there. I particularly like the cultural and the aesthetic. Yeah. They suck, but you know, like they're not all bad. Like some of them are alright, but overall, yeah, they suck. It's young, but there needs to be changes. I enjoy it because I am able to interact with my friends. Uh, I think it's all right. I've only been to a few, but uh, from the ones that I've been to, uh, I can't. I don't have really much to complain about. But the way, just the way they carried out, Matt Sloppy. What does TRUE stand for? TRUE is an acronym, and we found out almost no one knows what the heck it stands for. Not even the people that make the programs. In fact, the only person that nailed it on the first try is the guy that probably hates the programs the most. TRUE stands for Total Residential Undergraduate. Total residential undergraduate experience, undergraduate experience program. What? That's a trick question. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know what you stands for. I think it's, uh, I forgot. I think it's like total residential undergraduate education or some other crap like that. At the core of every TRUE program is one of seven key skill areas that each meeting focuses on. These are aesthetic appreciation, communication skills, community orientation, multiracial and multicultural awareness, problem solving, professional development, and scientific and technological skills. We recently attended a TRUE program to see what it was like. At the meeting, they showed us a 45-minute clip from the Academy Award-winning movie Crash. The idea was to target the multiracial awareness skill. It was fun to watch the movie, but when it came time to discuss race issues at the end, things stalled. It seemed that most people were only interested in making sure they got credit for showing up and digging into the leftover food. What about other colleges? Do they have true programs, or is this something only Bloomfield has? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I don't. Yeah, probably. They do have some similar. I've been to Ramapo and I've been to a couple of their true programs. Yeah, I think other colleges have true programs. The name of it might not necessarily be true programs. A lot of other colleges have begun this type of program a long time ago. One for colleges now catching up on the ball. We posed a question. Since paying for a cramped dorm room costs about the same as a standard apartment, what would happen if your landlord made you attend classes that he thought might help or he would kick you out on the streets. I feel that would be horrible. It's like being invaded on top of everything else. It's like being abducted. Well, I don't think that wouldn't be fair because I'm paying rent and you know, I'm pay if I'm paying rent and I pay it on time and on schedule, I should be able to keep my living space. Yeah, the dorms, some of us live in houses and that's overall the same situation and none of us like it. I'd say, huh, I'm gonna find a new place to live. <laughs> True programs are meant to be fun. They're not meant to be a hassle to them. And I feel that living on campus isn't um, like paying rent because you're here to have a good time and to be out and to have fun with all your other friends and you have nothing else to do that night, then yeah, you should come out. They're choosing to come and live on campus with us. And that in itself is a privilege to be able to live on campus. Um, so when they come in as freshmen, they know when they apply that they're applying under the, the staple that they have to participate in true programs. They know what they're getting before they sign up for it, and then they have that choice 
of either I'm going to be a resident student and fulfill all of my requirements as a resident student, or I choose to commute. By far, the biggest issue with students is why Bloomfield makes these programs mandatory. They force you to go and hope you jump for joy like this guy on their website does. But what if you rebel and don't go? This is where it gets really interesting. As a freshman, um, their first experience, I think they go on to true probation, which means they have to make up the amount of true points that they've missed, plus the eight that they have to do for their sophomore year. As a freshman, I get the opportunity to either be placed on true probation or true warning. Um, if you attend five or more programs, you're placed on true warning, which basically says, we're giving you a chance to catch up on what you, what you missed. If you attend four or less programs, you have true probation. Well, you said recommend them mandatory. I wouldn't recommend them as mandatory. I'd recommend them as encouraged. It wouldn't have to be mandatory at all times. I mean, if you can make it, you can make it. If you don't force a student to go to it, they don't make time for it. And it's for their own benefit. We have far too many students who, if it's not a party, then they're not interested. We found out most students like the idea of a voluntary, true program. The seven skill areas and fun atmosphere give students a positive addition to their Bloomfield experience. The problem is that every student that we interviewed disagreed that it should be mandatory. Forcing students to attend because you don't want them to stay in their rooms or go to a party is not a valid reason to have someone attend any program. True leadership disagrees, and ultimately, unless things change, we will all have true or we will have consequences.